In today's video, I will tour you in one of the most famous park here in Seville, Spain. That is very amazing and spectacular. Very fresh and green and clean park. Just around near the city center. The park of Maria Luisa is a large green space to the south of the city center, close to the river, with hundreds of exotic trees lining shading avenues and historic retail. Buildings with exotic touches provided by colorful tile benches and Moorish mount fountains and pools. You can do also walking and jogging here in Maria Luisa Park. The park is a delightful place for a quiet stroll, a kid runabout or romantic horse and carriage. It's a great way to see the shady avenues of the park. You can see also a lot of types of trees, ferns, fruits, what is the history of Maria Luisa Park? Antonio de Orleans and wife Infanta Maria Luisa Fernanda de Bourbon bought San Telmo Palace with a train around where was the race of old convent church. The couples hired a gardener, gardener named Andre Lucaland for the design of the garden with the help of a lot of architectures. In 1893, Maria Luisa was widow, so she gave a great part of the San Telmo Garden to Seville Town. So after, after that, the civil government convert or make as a public park, and in 19. 09, the local city government make a fantastic design for Ibero-American Exposition in the year 1929. The Monument of Gustavo Adolfo Becker. This monument consists of an octagonal base surrounding a tree which is built on a pedestal, the bust of the poet. To his right side is a cupid as a child throwing arrows at the three young women. To the left side of the bust is a cupid as an adult, stabbed and dying. The two angels are in bronze. The rest of the work is in marble white. So this is Gustavo Adolfo Becker, the writer, the poet.
you can find